Well, some of you guys liked the Asian reviews of Shang-Chi. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys just liked Shang-Chi. That's why you guys wanted to watch it. But regardless, we're here with another Asian reviews. This time for Blue Bayou, which premiered at Cannes starring Justin Chan and Alicia Vikander. So basically, Justin Chan plays a Korean-American who is raised and essentially not born, but came very young to America and Louisiana, and then gets into a little situation and now is uh, faced with deportation. And there we go. Now, this movie is pretty interesting because it premiered at Cannes, arguably one of the most prestigious film festivals there, and the critic reception for it was... It was, I, it was mixed, I guess. It was mixed. Now, I was lucky enough to get invited to a press screening for it, so if you're watching this, thank you. Shout out. But I wanted to talk about it here. Because as it stands right now, as of when I'm recording this, it holds a 76% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 3.5 average on Letterboxd. Those are pretty solid, especially the Letterbox one, which I, you know, I expect will fluctuate definitely as more people get to see it, but 3.5 is pretty high in my eyes. God, my hair is so whack today. Fuck. So what did I think about it? Um, it, it's, it is a mixed bag if I'm being honest, but if you ask me, is it a recommendation? I would say, yeah. Now, Justin Chan is very interesting because not only is he starring in it, but he's the writer and director for it. And, you know, then when I was younger, I obviously was not a cinephile. All right. I was out doing hooligan shit. Not really. Sometimes. But I really only knew him from his brief appearance in Twilight and 21 and over. In fact, I have a friend who used to literally call me Jeff Chang, who is the character from 21 and over. That's not, I mean, I guess it can be looked at as a racist thing, but he was my friend, so it was like a bit, so it's fine. But that that's my relationship with Justin Chong. I could not have imagined he has done stuff like this. This is not his first directorial debut. He's done some other stuff, but this one is definitely the one with the most notoriety. I gotta say, even though I thought it was mixed, and I'll get into that right now general audiences and i don't I, I whenever i say that i do not mean that as an insult i know a lot of critics when they say general audiences will like it they mean that as an insult i do not general audiences will probably eat this up it, now it hits a lot of familiar beats in a kind of how, how would you describe this like a trials and tribulations type movie when someone is faced with this type of situation it kind of hits those similar beats but my god if you heard the oscar expert speak about it some other people, that ending, I'm just saying, they they are really going for the tears there. And while I may not have cried because I am just a soulless human being, if I, if I suggested this movie for movie night with my friends, bro, the amount of sniffling I would hear, pff, stop. And they go for it. They go for the ending. And that has been some of the criticisms for it, where they say it is so overly melodramatic. It is just going for the heartstrings. It's trying to make you cry. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So what? I don't really care that much. I don't really care that much if I see a movie trying to make you cry if it kind of gets the job done. So yeah, the movie's very melodramatic. It is. It goes for those punches. It doesn't hold back. And it's not a shame to be like, I am going for those tears. And if it gets them, it's kind of a success, right? I think Justin Chan was very good as an actor here. I mean, I once again, with very limited like knowledge of his acting ability i thought it was very good here uh alicia vikander is, is really good the accent is sometimes slips but i gotta be honest i personally don't really care about accents unless it is like glaringly bad if they if the accent is okay as long as it's not distracting or even if the accent is good but every now and again the words they'll slip out in their natural accent i just don't care i'm not gonna see that and be like oh well, there, there goes down a star. I'm not going to do that. So I thought she was very good. The kid actor, she's a kid. So, you know, I'm not going to be not going to be mean. But um, no, I'm just not going to say anything. She was uh, she was OK. The main problem with this, and I don't want this to be too long a review. The main problem with this is there's so many ideas that it's going for. Someone understandably, you know, there is literally it's a story about deportation and ice and, you know, immigrants and stuff like that. There's a lot of a lot of plot in this and it is less than two hours long i think barely and they they try to stuff a lot there's a relationship between him and alicia vikander him and the kid him and alicia vikander's ex obviously the story of deportation how is he going to get money 
stuff there there's a whole bunch and then obviously justin chan's past which just it's a big it's a big hot pot it's an asian reference for you there well probably some other cultures whatever big hot pot of plot and it gets messy it certainly gets messy there was times i was watching i was like all right i'm this is like there's like a lot going on right now and it's not very coherent at times but i'll be honest it it just kind of pulls you back with with those punches and i think pretty good acting so i i I think it's a solid watch i think you guys should check it out i will always try to support this type of stuff asian reviews yeah it's certainly not going to be for everybody i can see some people just straight up not liking this movie and i can see some people just crying their eyes out doing big ugly cries which i've seen some people do so there it is blue bayou would be a recommendation for me obviously some issues with it and even i'll admit the emotional moments of crying and everything sometimes got a bit much but at the end of the day if it works it works i would lean slightly positive on this i'd give it three stars so yeah blue bayou hope you guys check it out i meant to get this review up sooner but it's been a crazy ass week bruh crazy but that'll be it for me thank you guys for watching and subscribing take care stay safe Bye.